All right, this is fourth grade, module three, lesson 16. And in this lesson, students are going to be using place value disks to represent their division now. Uh, still, we're going to have division with remainder problems. Uh, in the previous videos, we used area model. We used the array model. And this time, we're using the place value disk. It's just yet another way to represent mathematics and division. Uh, along the way towards eventually students using that standard algorithm. So we have 67 divided by 3 and we're going to use that place value technique and the way we're going to do that is first we're going to begin by modeling 67 so that's of course 6 tens and 7 ones. So I've modeled that and now what I want to do is I'm going to separate that nice and neat right here. And now we're going to make, let's see, one, two, three groups. All right, now, why am I doing three groups? Well, I'm making three groups because it says we're going to divide that by three. So here's our 67, and here are our three groups. Now, over here it says 67 divided by three. By the way, this is 67 divided by three. Parents and teachers, a lot of kids read this as 3 divided by 67. So pay attention to that. Let's correct them and let's get them speaking mathematics correctly right from the get-go. And so I'm that's a little too small over here. So I'm going to make it a little bit larger. And I'm going to do it right here. So 67 divided by 3. And the idea with the place value disks is we are going to take these 6 tens and we're going to sort them equally amongst the three groups. And when we do that, we get that we get one, two, three, four, five, six with nothing left over. So that means we have used all six of our tens. Now, how would we record that over here? Well, we have six tens. We want to sort them into three groups. That means there's going to be two in each of the three groups and so that means we've used all of our tens we have no tens left over and that's what this is so that's where we're connecting our place value with our standard algorithm so now we can move over to our seven ones and we have seven ones and we're going to take them and sort them into three piles. So let's do that. So let's go. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. Now that extra seventh I cannot do because then my three piles, my three groups would not be equal. So what does that mean? It means I've used six and we have this one left over. Now how am I going to record that way over here in our standard algorithm? Well, we have seven ones. Now, technically, we're supposed to bring that down. And then 7 one sorted amongst three groups means each group is going to get two dots. It means we've used up six dots, and we have one dot left over. So what is our quotient? Our quotient is 22. Our remainder is 1. Now, back in the day, we would say the answer is 22 remainder 1, like that. And that's still allowed. We're still allowed to talk like that. Now, how do we check our work? Well, we check our work by doing 22 times 3. That gives us 66. And then do 66 plus 1. That gives us 67. And since we end up with 67, that tells us we probably did it correctly. So now we have 85 divided by 2. So the first thing we're going to do is model 85. So that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There's 80. And then 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So there's our 85. And then I'm going to draw my little, I don't know, little line to, to indicate that down here is where we are going to be showing our division. And so there's our two groups. Now why did I draw two groups? Here, group 1, group 2, well, because it says divide by 2. And now this 85 divided by 2, it's too small, so I'm going to put it over here. 85 divided by 2. So we're going to begin 
by taking our tens and sorting them amongst our two groups. And remember, we have eight of them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that means each group gets four. So we're going to record that over here. So each group gets four tens. So we're taking the eight tens, separating it amongst two groups. So each group gets four tens, which means we've used up all eight tens, and we have nothing left over. So our place value chart would look like this. That's because we used up all eight of our tens. Well, now let's take a look at our ones. We have five ones, and we're going to go one, two, oh, ex well, except I don't want it in red. I want it in black. One, two, three, four, and I can't go one more. I can't go one more because I don't have enough for two groups. So that means we used four of them, and we have one left over. So how are we going to record that in our standard algorithm? Well, we had five ones and sorted amongst two groups. It means each group gets two. So we used up four dots, and we have one dot left over. And there you could see we put two in each group. That's what this two is for. We have one left over, and that's this one right here. So what's our answer? quotient is 42, our remainder is 1, and we could write it like this, 42, remainder 1. Now, how would we check it? Well, we would do 42, 42 times 2, because it says so right here, 42 times 2, and that's 84, and then we're going to take our 84, add in the extra remainder, we get 85, and because we got 85, that tells us we're probably correct. And the last one, this one, I'm going to go real fast. It's 85 divided by 4. Model, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now we're going to separate it into our groups. And we need four groups. 1, 2, 3, four, four groups. We need four groups because it says so right here. Divide by four. <clears throat> and I am going to rewrite that over here. 85 divided by four. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our eight tens and we're going to sort it amongst four groups. So how many are going to go in each group? Well, let's find out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, so that means we've got two in each group, because it says so right here. Two, 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 and two. We used up all eight of our tens. We have no tens left over. So I'm going to record the fact that we have no tens left over by crossing them off. There you go. So now, over here in our standard algorithm, what are we looking at? Well, now we're looking at five ones. Oops, five ones? Yeah, five ones, but you know what I did? I just noticed. Five ones, there. Boy, that's a big deal right there. Holy moly. And then, so we have 85 divided by 4. So we have five ones, and we need to put them amongst the four groups. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4. And we're not using all of them, are we? We use these four but we have one left over. So how is that going to look in our standard algorithm over here? Well, you have five ones sorted amongst five groups. It means one goes in each group. You used up four dots, and you have one dot left over. So our quotient is 21, remainder 1. We would look at, write it like that. 21 remainder 1. Let's check to make sure I didn't screw up. So we're going to do 21 times 4. You get 84. Now we add in that extra remainder. And there's our 85. And since we ended up with 85, it means we probably did it correctly. 
And that wraps up fourth grade module three, lesson 16, where we're using place value disks instead of the array model or instead of the area model. And we're using place value disks. We still have some remainders, but we're moving towards that standard algorithm.